Good afternoon, North Carolina. Yeah. You all happy to be here? Yeah. Only a few days ago, we started out in a small town called Selma, Alabama. A smaller band of justice seekers started out from Selma, Alabama on America's journey for justice, purposing in our hearts to cross five states, three purple states, two red states into one blue district of Columbia, over 867 miles. The Selma to Montgomery march was 50 miles in 1965. Mohandas K. Gandhi's salt march in 1930, 241 miles. But we purposed in our heart to march 867 miles because we believe our lives, our votes, our jobs, and our schools matter. We marched carrying a book as timeless as the ages, called the Torah. Yes. Many of us who are not rabbis, not reformed Jews, Baptists and Methodists, Episcopalians, Catholics, people of all traditions and no tradition at all, we took turns carrying this sacred book called the Torah. Yes. And one of the things I discovered was that if you carry the Torah on one shoulder, crossing your chest, whether you carry it with your left arm dominant or your right arm dominant. It is impossible to carry the Torah, impossible to carry the Bible, impossible to carry God's word without God's word laying upon your heart and crossing your heart. And so we're here today, having carried the Torah over 700 miles, having carried the spirit of Amos, the spirit of Isaiah, the spirit of Jeremiah, but also the spirit of Amelia Boynton, the spirit of Jimmy Lee Jackson, the spirit of Viola Luzo. We carry the spirit of Mark and, and Medica. We carry that spirit with us, and yea, we carry the spirit of Moral Mondays and the North Carolina Conference of the NAACP. That's the spirit we come here with. In that book, there is a pericope, a portion of scripture that simply says, let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. And so for those who pose the question, who lift up the troubling interrogative, why march in 2015? We say we march because the prophets called for justice. Right. We march right. because this is bigger than the Byzantine jurisprudence of Section 5. We march because it is right for the people to vote. We march because it's right to protect our children. We march because it's right to stand up for our schools. We march because it's right to stand up for the American worker. We march because our people shed blood, sweat, and tears for the right to vote. So we come here having crossed blood-stained highways and sweat-soaked byways across the length and breadth of the South. We started out at a sanctuary otherwise known as a modest home, the home of Mrs. Amelia Boynton. We started out on sacred ground. Yes. We're marching across the five states that were previously covered by the Voting Rights Act that are left today civically naked and unprotected. Yes. And so we march leaving sacred ground and coming to a place that is sacred ground. Yes. Because whether or not you know it, whether or not you understand it, you are apostles in an age of activism. You are disciples in an age of justice. Yea, even the call of history is whispering into our ears. 
Yea, even the voice of God is speaking to us, saying, let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. And so we're here. We're here in spite of the doubts, in spite of, in spite of the cynicism and the pessimism. We're here in spite of those who said we could not be here. We're here in spite of those who say we don't deserve to be here. We're here because we purpose to be here. We're here because our feet have been praying for us. We're here because a group of rabbis gather around us. We're here because Baptist preachers have gathered around us. We're here because Methodist preachers have gathered around us. We're here because one of God's own called Reverend Dr. William Barber came to stand at our side in our time of need. We're here. Were we here? Because we've determined to put boots on the ground That's right. That's right. in order that we might put laws on the books. Yeah. We have brave and courageous lawyers who are litigating and have litigated in Texas and have litigated here in North Carolina courageously. They're doing what they can do in the courts. But we cannot trust the Supreme Court no, no. No, no. to do for us no. what we can only do for ourselves. That's right. Because we understand that the Voting Rights Act was signed into law with scores of pens held by the hand of President Lyndon Baines Johnson. While the legislation may have been signed into law with the ink of a president's pen, that law was enacted with the blood, sweat, and tears of people all across this country of every hue and every heritage, of every color and every creed. They look like this crowd. They look like the North Carolina Congress. They look like moral Mondays. They look like the people here. They look like disciples. They look like the puzzles. And they were determined yes, sir. Yes, sir. to protect the right to vote. But my brothers and sisters, yes, sir. I need you to do a few things for me. I need you to tell your friends to join America's Journey for Justice. You're here, but we need thousands more. Yes, sir. We need thousands more. We need them of every color and every creed, every hue and every heritage. Gay or straight, reform or orthodox, Catholic or Protestant, Baptist or Methodist, any union or not yet any union, we need you here. That's right. That's right. So tell your friends. That's right. Number two, we need you in Washington for those of you who can make it on the 16th of September on our advocacy day. We'll march in on the 15th. We will cross the Memorial Bridge in the shadow of the Lincoln Memorial. We'll go to the Lincoln Memorial and we'll pray. And then we're gonna go to a little, a little, uh, a little sanctuary called Washington Hebrew Congregation and we'll stay the night there and then we'll bring thousands to Congress the next day on the 16th. We need you there on the 16th. Now lastly, yes, sir. we are not endeavoring to have another moment. That's right. We are catalyzing a movement. Look to your left, look to your right. The people you see are members of a movement. Look across the length and breadth of these United States they are in this movement, and it began in Raleigh, North Carolina. It began with more Mondays. It began with you. Now, my brothers and sisters, if as we march across the rest of the state of North Carolina and into Virginia and into the District of Columbia, you're tempted to grow weary, tempted to grow tired. And maybe you see blisters on your feet. Maybe your brow is fevered. Maybe you're a little discouraged. I want you to remember this day and remember the words of this hymn of the NAACP. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. 
sing a song full of the faith that the dog has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of our new day begun. Let us march on. 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 Let us march